When we talk about Linux distributions, Arch derivatives often end up in a very specific, almost mythological category. There are tons of them, each with its own philosophy, but not all of them manage to truly distinguish themselves. I've never been a big enthusiast of derivatives. In principle, I almost always prefer the primary distribution. This is because, in most cases, the derivative doesn't bring something truly unique with it. Sometimes it only offers a graphical installer, some management tools, and little more. All things that, with a bit of patience, can also be added to a pure arch. Yet every now and then, a derivative comes along that changes the game. A distribution that doesn't just make Arch more convenient to install, but rethinks it in depth. And this is the case with Cache OS. Cache OS is not simply an Arch ready-made. It's a project born with a specific goal. To reconfigure Arch Linux at the performance and optimization level, going so far as to touch the very heart of the system, namely the Linux kernel. And this is where the difference lies. Let's start with an aspect that is often underestimated, package compilation. Normally, in traditional distributions, packages are compiled to be compatible with the largest possible number of processors. It's a compromise choice, necessary to ensure maximum compatibility. Cache OS, instead, chooses another path. It compiles packages for modern architectures, x86 64 v3, x86 64 v4, and even specific optimizations for Zen 4 CPUs. Tests conducted by Pharonix on AMD Threadripper 7995WX processors showed concrete performance gains between 5% and 20% improvement with XA664 v3 packages compared to generic packages. Even more impressive are the results with XA664 v4, which leverages AVX512 instructions to achieve substantial improvements in applications that can benefit from them. Cache OS currently maintains over 22,000 optimized packages in its repositories, a figure that testifies to the systematic commitment to performance. This means that if you have a recent processor, the programs you run not only work, but run by making the best use of the advanced instructions available. In addition, Cache OS uses techniques like LTO, link time optimization, and PGO, profile guided optimization, Optimization tools that allow you to squeeze even more performance from software. Crucial packages like Python use Bolt, binary optimization and layout tool, while others like ELS4, ZSD, and XZ are compiled with PGO to maximize efficiency in real-world usage scenarios. But the real heart of the project is the kernel. Arch Linux by default provides you with a fairly standard kernel, updated frequently but without major customizations. Cache OS instead proposes an entire ecosystem of optimized kernels. There's the Bohr kernel, burst-oriented response enhancer, designed to guarantee extreme responsiveness, perfect if you use your PC interactively, if you game or work with applications that require immediate response times. The Bohr scheduler represents a significant evolution over the traditional EVDF. Developed specifically to improve system responsiveness, Bohr introduces the concept of burstiness a score that keeps track of how much CPU time each process has consumed since the last voluntary release of resources. This approach allows the system to give dynamic priority to interactive processes, maintaining responsiveness even under intense loads. Empirical tests show that Bohr excels in gaming and desktop use, where the perception of fluidity is fundamental. On a Ryzen 5800X, Bohr demonstrated significant improvements in saturated response, that is, the system's ability to remain responsive when under stress. It's interesting to note that even Valve is considering adopting Bohr for Steam OS, a sign that the performance is tangible even in professional contexts. There are variants like Decify, optimized for Steam Deck, or the Hardened Kernel, designed for those who put security first. There are also long-term support versions, real-time kernels for those who work with audio and video, and even server versions. The LTO kernel uses Clang with thin LTO and auto FDO plus propeller profiling for optimal performance, while the BMQ variant implements the Project C scheduler for specific workloads. In short, Cache OS's philosophy is clear, not one kernel for everyone, but a kernel for every need. Currently available kernels are compiled for x86-64, x86-64-v3, x86-64-v4, and Zenver 4 ensuring that every architecture can make the most of its capabilities. Making all this more accessible is the Cache OS Kernel Manager, a tool that allows you to install, 
change and manage these variants without having to deal with complex configurations. The tool also includes optimized presets for specific scenarios. From the gaming profile that increases the frequency of CPU contention detection, to the power save profile that favors energy efficiency, to the real-time profile for professional audio and multimedia applications. Cache OS has also developed Proton Cache OS, an optimized fork of Proton that includes advanced features like automatic upgrader for DLSS, support for FSR4 on RDNA3 GPUs, and experimental integration of NT-Sync to improve performance in CPU-bound games. NVIDIA's physics libraries are integrated directly, eliminating potential compatibility issues. The distribution offers the Cacheos Gaming Meta Package that includes everything needed for gaming. Steam, Lutris, Mango HUD, Goverlay, Heroic Games Launcher, and Gamescope. According to Steam data, Cacheos represents 4.21% of Linux users on the platform, positioning itself very close to Ubuntu 24.04, a remarkable result for a relatively young distribution. Another interesting aspect is the installation. Cache OS lets you choose whether to use Calamares, with an online mode as well, or a classic command line installation. But above all, it puts you in front of a huge range of desktop environments and window managers. From KDE Plasma to GNOME, from XFCE to Sway, through Hyperland, Budgie, Cinnamon, i3, and even additions dedicated to devices like Steam Deck or RAW G Ally. The installer automatically detects if the processor supports x8664 v3 or v4 and configures the appropriate repositories to ensure optimal performance from the first boot. The recent introduction of the packages.cacheos.org dashboard provides complete transparency on packages, current versions, supported architectures, PKG build sources, and update timestamps. It's a level of transparency that few distributions offer. From a security standpoint, CacheOS doesn't lag behind. It offers kernels with hardening patches, supports tools like FireJail and AppArmor, and allows you to activate them with ease. The distribution also includes support for Skedext, the new framework for user space schedulers that represents the future of scheduling in Linux. Recently, the team introduced the LTS kernel as a default fallback to improve stability, responding to community feedback on possible issues with more experimental kernels. This demonstrates a mature approach that balances innovation and reliability. What I particularly appreciate is that all this is not presented in a chaotic way. There's a common thread, a clear vision. Cache OS wants to be an Arch Linux optimized for the present and for the future, without unnecessary compromises. It's a derivative that doesn't settle for being Arch with installer, but proposes itself as a real step forward. Cache OS's success is also testified by its positioning in DistroWatch rankings, where it has recently reached the top positions. The register defined the distribution as blisteringly quick in tests, confirming that optimizations are not just numbers on paper, but translate into a perceptibly better user experience. And here I return to the starting point. I often distrust derivatives because they risk diluting the experience of the mother distribution. But when a derivative manages to introduce concrete innovations, when it brings added value that doesn't reduce to a couple of shortcuts, then it deserves to be seriously considered. Cache OS is exactly this, a successful experiment. A distribution that partially breaks away from Arch while maintaining its philosophy, and that offers tools and optimizations that are difficult to replicate without a great investment of time and experience. In conclusion, if you're an Arch Linux enthusiast and are looking for a derivative that goes beyond aesthetics or installer simplification, Cache OS is definitely worth trying. It's not just another voice in the mythology of Arch derivatives. It's a demonstration that, with intelligence and a clear vision, even a derivative project can become something unique, pushing forward the boundaries of what's possible to achieve from a modern Linux system.